Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips, and we back for another vlog. No, my title's not clickbait, okay? I'm at St. Louis Pass. Probably the most dangerous place to fish at in the state of Texas along the Gulf Coast. Approximately 13 people have died here since 2013, okay? Not even sure about 2020. Um, most recently, back in 2019, there was a dad and son out here fishing in about waist deep water as far as like waiting. And the dad got took by the current, son tried to help him, and unfortunately they both ended up passing and drowning. So they actually like shut this down. You used to be able to like fish along the bridge, but now they got the whole beast area shut down because too many people have died in this area. So you're asking yourself though, so if it's so dangerous, what the hell are you doing here right now? Well, my objective today is not to catch a fish. Now, if you're, you know, been on my channel, not catching fish is like my kind of thing. You know, it's, it's what I do. Not catching fish is, it's my thing you know you know what it is y'all come on now it's what i do so my objective today is just really to showcase the area talk about the history of st louis pass so for the people who are coming here who aren't familiar with it they can know that you know the dangers of this particular area so my goal is to get one view of just one person who was planning to come here with their family not knowing how dangerous it is and realizing this might not be the best spot to go fishing at or this might not be the best spot to let your kids go, you know, wading and swimming. So that's the goal, I'm trying to save life today. That's it, that's it. If we catch a fish, cool. If I don't catch a fish, whatever. It's just like all my other vlogs. Whatever. Enjoy the vlog. Let it go. Tragedy. Tragedy has struck the channel. Now you remember how I said how dangerous of a place this place is and how bad things happen here? You remember that? This is the remote to my drone. Now do you notice anything? Here's the case to my drone, right? That's the case, here's the remote. What do you notice? There's no drone. Where's your drone at right now? In the bottom of the goddamn Gulf of Mexico. God damn it, I lost my drone. Ah! Oh! You see, y'all, I was trying to get this beautiful shot to start the, you know, the vlog of the bridge, and I tried to bring it home, but the winds over here are crazy, and it just descended into the ocean. Like, I can't believe that happened. You know what I'm saying? It's my own damn fault. It's 25, 30 miles an hour here. You know, winds, it's my own fault. But I had to try to get the shot to make the vlog good for y'all. I had, to, I had to try to sacrifice the drone for y'all, and the drone was sacrificed. God damn it! But I'm, I won't let it get me down. It's only materialistic, you know what I'm saying? It's only materialistic. You know, there's there's people out here who've lost their lives. So I'm not gonna bitch about losing a drone. I'm not! But it still hurts. All right, y'all, so um, if I continue to vlog, and if you don't see any drone shots, that's why. That's why. Let's go. Let's go and do something epic. I have the worst luck. I have the worst luck. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go.
right, so um, been out here maybe maybe an hour now. Still haven't started fishing yet. Still trying to decide, you know, how I'm gonna get set up. Um, I'm not sure. I never fished this particular area. There was a people out here earlier. They're already gone, which is not a good sign. So yeah, still not motivated to do any fishing because my drone. God damn it, my drone. No, I'm not gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna complain this entire vlog. This vlog is about me ranting for 15 minutes about losing my drone. All right, it's not your fault. Why am I yelling at y'all? Y'all didn't do this. It's my own fault. My apologies. It's not your fault. Hit the thumbs up button. I need 100 thumbs up and I'll go buy another drone. Give me 100 thumbs up and I'll buy another drone. Damn it. All right. We'll see. We'll see if I attempt to try to catch a fish today or my drone. Catch a fish or a drone. We'll see. Whatever. San Luis Pass. Now across on the other side of the bridge, um, there used to be like a really dope fishing pier, um, but like 2008 Hurricane Ike took it out. Fishing used to be amazing here, um, but like I say, ever since then, um, people kind of converted to the beach area, uh, especially on the other side where I started at. And from there, the current, people kept getting swept up in the current and drowning. And the riptide is crazy because you got the bridge coming here, and your tide going this way. At the same time, the water will come back this way. And if you look out on the horizon, there's this massive break. It's like the perfect storm of death. So finally they have to create rules that says that all these signs that swimming isn't allowed, waiting isn't allowed. And you would have think that they would have created that rule before those 13 people died over the last seven years. But what do I know, man? I'm not a marine biologist. I'm just a black guy just trying to figure it out, right? I'm trying to catch anything in this ocean to make up for this day. That's where we stand there right now, right? That's what the vlog is right now, is me trying to catch something. As the time seems to be getting higher, closer to my truck. I swear, if this vlog includes me getting stuck in the sand, I'm never fishing again. That's it. That's the vlog. I don't know what else to do, y'all. I mean, I, I, I tried. I really did try. Today just was not the day for me on this water. You know what I'm saying? The winds are high. My mood is low. My drone is drowned. It just, it's just not meant to happen. I don't know what else to do to make this vlog any more entertaining than it already isn't. So yeah, that's it. But um, let me tell y'all something. Now, some of y'all like to clown me because I don't catch fish in my vlog, but check it. Unlike these other YouTubers that you're subscribed to, there's a big difference between them and I, okay? First of all, I admit I'm an amateur, you know what I'm saying? I keep it real. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm new to fishing a lot and I'm just trying to enjoy it and go out there and fish, right? Now, some of these YouTubers that you're subscribed to, when they go fishing, they don't catch fish like I don't be catching fish sometimes. But you know the difference? They don't post those vlogs because they want to make it seem like, oh, we're always catching fish. We're always catching, look, there's a fish. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a fish. Nah, but you know what? I'm real, you know what I'm saying? I keep it real. I post the good and the bad, period, period. So that's why you see the struggles on my channel because every time you go fishing, you just don't catch fish. Anybody who watches this channel and anybody who goes fishing knows that. You don't catch fish every time. The only difference is with me is I post it online for thousands of people to see me struggle each week. But I'm gonna get better. I promise you I'm gonna get better and et cetera. So that's my rant. If you made it to the end of this vlog, comment below right now. I think 
fishing isn't for you, so you should try this instead. Comment below a new hobby I should try. Bird watching, sewing, anything but this. I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all next week. See y'all next week for maybe Freshwater Tuesday. I don't even know why I'm still doing Freshwater Tuesday. The first two episodes of Freshwater Tuesday have been a disaster. I don't know if I'm making it to the end of that season. I think the show is gonna get canceled, but we'll see. I got nothing else. Smash the like button. Give me, give me 200 likes and I'll feel better about losing my drone. 200 likes for the drone. 200 likes for Rebecca. RIP Rebecca. RIP.